Good afternoon all. I just bought these tea lights, six tea lights for £2.50 and they came from Wilco, uh, that's Wilkinson's. Now they were doing these for 50p each but uh, six for £2.50 is a slightly better deal. So let's uh, open them up and try them out. Right, let's pull the tab. At least these have batteries in them. Oh, there it is. It's on. Oh yeah, that's quite nice. It's a bit flickery. But uh, yeah, not bad. Let's try this one. Pull the tab. Oh, is that on or off? Well, this one's also a bit flickery. Also, the switch isn't very convincing, so maybe that's why it's flickering. Let's try another one. also flickery what's wrong with these things well they're all flickering so i mean i'm gonna have to take these back aren't i because um oh, wait a minute maybe they're meant to flicker well i wonder how they flicker Do you know it wouldn't surprise me if these things had microcontrollers in them running some sort of pseudo random sequence doing pulse width modulation of brightness or is it a bit simpler than that no i think it's going to be a microcontroller let's tear one down yeah i knew they were meant to flicker honest gov i knew that i mean otherwise i wouldn't have bought them because they don't really add up to much in terms of an electronics video unless of course there's something that we can put on the scope that would be much more interesting. Right, brutal dismantling. Okay. Oh, there's nothing to see. Maybe it's a flickery LED. That must have a chip in it then. Yeah, there are lots of little bond wires in there. And there does appear to be a little chip in addition to the uh, LED, the light emitting diode, which will be in that large cup thing. I think that thing that looks like the body of a spider with legs coming out of it is a little chip. Now, how are we going to scope the um, pulse width modulation or the whatever's causing that brightness change? Well, probably by putting a resistor in series with the battery. Let's give that a try. It's quite weird that there's a flat on the side of the LED. There's the flat there, you can see it. And that actually goes to positive, battery positive. It's the wrong way around. Doesn't seem to mind being connected in reverse. Seems to survive that. But yeah, that's got quite a nice little flicker to it. So let's get a resistor. Um, hmm, it's gonna have to be quite low value. Otherwise, this probably won't light up. I'll try 100 ohms. I think it's a fair bit dimmer with this 100 ohm resistor in series with it. Um, but at least that means that we've got something to measure the current draw across. And we should be able to get um, a high and a low on the scope in order to see, try and see, how this is being driven. Well, it's quite difficult to trigger on this because, of course, it's constantly uh, jumping around. But uh, here's my rising edge. That's where I'm actually triggering. I've got a reasonably constant rising edge for the next pulse. And you can see that the uh, high time is jumping around between uh, virtually full, which would be LED continuously on, and mm, about 10% of that as a minimum, I suppose. So yes, yeah, certainly it's a pulse width modulation signal uh, where the brightness, where the on time is being varied in relation to the off time. Now, can I see anything if I bring this time base down? Not really. Let's capture something and then expand that out. And uh, we can see quite clearly uh, a short pulse and a long pulse, short pulse and a long pulse, 
short pulse and a long pulse. Why is it being modulated with that peculiar arrangement? I'm at fairly uh, fast time base here. What's this? 100 microseconds. You can start to see the uh, the slew there, the uh, the rise time and the fall time. Just can't work out why they would have a short and a long pulse. And if I come down, is there anything to see in this? Not really. I think there you can see uh, here we can see that there's not much on time. Uh, here's a period with a bit more on time. That looks like quite a lot of on time, not a lot of off time. So these are the periods of different brightness levels. But why is it doing this short pulse, long pulse thing? Very interesting. Well, I'm having difficulty capturing enough of this waveform to compare the sort of um, high brightness section with the low brightness section. So I'm having to sort of trap sections at random. You can see here that here we've got a, a long short pulse and a long long pulse and not much off. And if I just let it run and then capture again, much shorter short pulse, much shorter long pulse, much more in terms of off. So this is low brightness. Let's try and capture high brightness again. That's quite low. That's a bit higher brightness because the short pulse is longer, the long pulse is longer. That's about the same. And that's a bit longer. You've got more on than off. Actually, I wonder if there's a measurement thing that will give me a mark space ratio on this complex waveform. Well, I've got duty cycle here, but it's giving me some funny numbers. It's saying that's 91%. I suppose it could be 91% high. 10% low, it looks a bit more low than that. Let's run it, capture another one. That it's saying is only 20%. Now I presume it's averaging this duty cycle measurement over the whole of this uh, width of screen grab. I'm not sure, but anyway, that's measured at 20%. Let's do another one. 77%, uh, that doesn't look quite right, does it? I don't think high is 77% and low is, what, 23 so I'm not sure what I'm actually measuring here, 32% duty cycle. But clearly we can see that the duty cycle, uh, the on time relative to the off time, the mark space ratio you could call it, is varying 29 and 89 between mostly high and mostly low. But I still don't quite understand why it's doing this short pulse, long pulse thing. That's a mystery. So yeah, flickery LEDs with a sort of flicker chip built into them. And I wonder how it's generating the uh, pseudo random number sequence, probably something like a linear feedback shift register. But uh, yeah, surprising amount of complexity, all digital, to generate what <laughs> you might think at first glance is a loose connection. But uh, yeah, fascinating things, these flickery LEDs. So 50p LED tea lights with uh, flickery light created by pulse width modulation and pseudo random number generation. Do you know, there's probably more computing power in one of these. Actually, no, there probably isn't. Cheerio.